Hello, in this video we are going to cover the UI web view. The UI web view allows you to display a web page. It's that simple. Before we get coding, make sure you've created a project using Cocos 2DX and that your project is set up to use the UI plugin. If it isn't, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to get all that done. Once you're all done with that, to create a web view is really simple. You might be thinking, why would you want to display a web page within the application? And more specifically, a game, because Cocos 2DX is a game engine. Well, one of the examples that you could display a web page is where on a lot of games, they have like an info button or an about us button, and it usually takes the user to the website of the developer or the company who that has made it or even the publishing company and most of the time it actually takes you out of the application though let's say it takes it into safari or chrome their good browsers it still ruins the flow for the user so if we could just pop up a web page aka their website that would be a lot better for a user experience point of view so that's one of the reasons why you would want to use a UI web view. Another reason is maybe you're just creating an application or not a game and you want to have web views in there. To use this really simple, you do experimental. As of August 2015, it is still an experimental feature. So if you're watching this video at a later date and it might not be experimental, you'll probably just be able to do UI colon colon. Just something to bear in mind. Web view. I'm just going to call it web view equals to experimental UI web view create and now what we're going to do is web view load URL you can load file as well but we're just going to load a URL and for this it's going to put HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.google.com going to put web view set position I'm going to do visible size divide by two so this will just set it in the center of the screen web view set content size visible size divide by two and actually no time by 0 0.8 so it's not the full size of the screen, but you can make it however big you want. You could have multiple web views, so you could have it like a snapped effect on the left and the right. Totally up to you. We're gonna do web view, set, scale pages to fit. We're gonna put this to true, so it just helps the pages scale better when zooming and doing other stuff like that. Next, we're just gonna add this as a child to our scene so web view now we're ready to run it in our web browser okay here we go we've got our web view loaded and obviously I can navigate Google so I'm just gonna have a PS4 and there we go we have a web view there are a bunch of other methods available to the UI web view and um, you can do web view reload it basically reloads the page web view go back this goes back a page web view go forward and this goes forward a page there are a bunch of other methods I'll, I'll recommend checking them out just by doing web view this and to see what you got there are comments along with them so you should be able to get through them pretty easily I'm just gonna comment these out because in this tutorial we're not going to use it and what we want you to do is actually implement some functions and use these methods so have some buttons on the screen so for a reload back and forward as an extra task the web view works great but we can also detect when the website has loaded aka if it's finished loading when it started loading and if it's failed loading so that way we can adjust accordingly especially if we failed loading you might want to do something else fall back to a different website or fall back to some internal display code so to do that I'm just going to copy and paste this UI code into the header file because we're just going to set that up here and what we're going to do is create a few methods so bool 
on web view should start loading you can name these whatever you want and for this I'm going to put cocast 2d experimental UI sender const std string ampersand url copy and paste this to save some time change this to void and for this I'm going to put web view did finish loading did finish loading and we have a little problem okay it needs to be colon colon web view now we can just copy and paste this method and this is going to be called did fail loading we're all done with the header now so we can just copy and paste these to save some time go to our cpp file and let's just start implementing all of these methods need to put hello world copy and paste that now for the on web view should start loading I'm just going to do a simple log and in here I'm going to put started loading URL if percent s so you can just see what URL it is loading URL dot C underscore string gonna copy actually just need to do a return statement and because it's gonna be successful and do return true but you can have some conditions in there so you can return false or true copy and paste that I'm gonna put for this finish loading and for this one I'm going to put failed loading so what we're going to do now is just assign these methods to our web view because at the moment they don't do anything or they're not going to get caught so to do that web view set on did finish loading cc underscore callback to hello world on web view did finish loading this web view set on should start loading cc underscore callback to hello world on web view should start loading and for target put this put an extra bracket to need them there finally web view set on did fail loading now for this I'm just gonna put CC underscore callback to hello world on web view did fail loading this now we're ready to run this application so we'll get a web view like we did before but now we'll have some logs based on the state so, ooh, there we go we got quite a few started loading and the reason we got multiple is because they were loading different sort of pages because he went to google.com then that redirected me to google.co.uk because it, it detected I was in the UK and he had a bunch of PHP get parameters in there actually I think the PHP the get parameters and then in the next one it reloaded the page where it did something with SSL and then it just said finish loading let's try and replicate a failed load so to do that it's gonna turn Wi-Fi off we stop there you go failed loading so that's the UI web view. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php. We will answer promptly. P 
please rate comment and subscribe as it does really help keep the content free plus it also helps us provide more content on a regular basis and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day